I abandoned my family and I don't regret it. If you've ever seen that show, The Loud House, then you probably know a little better than me exactly what the show is about. Yeah, that's right, I fucking admit it. See, something really messed up happened the last time I tried watching a VHS tape I found of the program online. I know what you're thinking. If you just hadn't watched the tape, then you wouldn't be sitting here telling me this extremely disturbing story about what happened to you after reviewing. So why did you bother viewing? Well, guess what? No one's going to attend your viewing. Well, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all weigh a metric ton. Sit down, shut your pie hole, and listen to my sordid tale of terror. Artificial Nocturne. The VHS slipcase had a drawing of a man screaming on the cover with bleeding eardrums. I was extremely concerned. What happened next made me question my mortal sanity. This show started airing in 2013, many years after VHS technology had been discontinued in favor of DVD and even Blu-ray. But I put the tape in. And I heard screaming. Oh my god, why was there screaming? They were just in the house yelling, screaming, yelling. The yelling got louder as time went on. There was no plot. They were just screaming. Sounds an awful lot like my sex life. They were pointing through the TV at me. Or I should say the characters were pointing where I would be, as no television program animator could predict the exact location of the viewer. In fact, I was sitting slightly to the right on my beanbag cushion with my three dogs, Spencer, Toboggan, and Little Sashimi. The dogs whiffed loudly and darted through the dog door, bog door, dog door, dog door. The dogs whiffed loudly and darted through the dog door, never to be seen again. Where are my dogs? I needed to reduce the volume. I was getting a severe earache at all the screaming. Luna Loud, Lola Loud, Lenny Loud, Lewin Loud, Lori Loud, and Lincoln Loud were screaming very loud. They were screaming over each other, and the voice actors' voices cracked as they continued screaming. One of them gets really mad, and you hear mumbling under the screaming. The voice actor demands a glass of water, claiming it was contacting his agent. Then he just started screaming again, as if that had never happened. The words... Loud enough for you? Flashed on screen as the volume increased on its own. I went to get the remote and shut the tape off. I pressed and pressed the power button, but it was stuck. Had someone super glued the button to trap me in this permanent hell of screaming? Or was my festive three bean burrito making a mess and causing an adhesive three bean glue to prevent me from changing the channel? They were just screaming and screaming louder and faster. I could feel my eardrum quivering as though it was going to burst. One of the characters, Juan Loud, I think his name was, who gives a shit, got wide-eyed and jammed a pencil in his ear. I couldn't take it anymore. This was too loud. This was a loud, a loud fucking house. I wanted to get up and unplug the television, but I was eating a festive three-bean burrito and would have to walk 12 to 14 feet. I actually reached a power cord to the old vintage television I purchased at Bed Bath & Beyond 26 years ago today. I, I was using my stomach as a table as my TV dinner tray was being used to prop up the vintage television. Well, I had access to a mop handle. I, I couldn't reach the buttons without seriously straining my upper back muscles. Why is this happening to me? I was forced to continue watching. Finally, I saw what they were screaming at. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was, it was out of focus, but could it be? I pressed and pressed the mute button, the decibels increasing, making that wavering, grainy noise speakers make before they burst. But these speakers would not burst. And instead, for no apparent reason, my surround sound system kicked on. And the bass boost was at plus 10, the highest level, one that came with the warning never to set it to, because it could break the system and cause permanent irreversible hearing damage. I, I kept hitting and hitting the mute button. I had to get up. 
I started to lean forward, but the contents of the three bean burrito partially fell on the floor. Other remnants of the classical Spanish dish spilling onto my prized beanbag chair. I decided to put my fingers in my ears to prevent this loud noise from entering my ear canal. But my fingers were covered in nacho cheese, and I felt deeply uncomfortable as I felt the sticky, melted nacho cheese sliding into my delicate inner ear canal. I, I went to push the mute button one more time, but... I then saw the S button. Wait a minute. There's no S button on the remote. I uh, pressed it and all the characters started speaking Spanish. Screaming Spanish, I should say. They screamed, Que? They screamed, Huevos? They screamed, Pano? And... Davos. I finally had enough and threw the remote at the television, dropping my bean burrito on the floor and stormed over to unplug the television. I did so, but I could still hear the screaming. My hearing had been permanently damaged. The loud house had been too loud, and it, it, it made me deaf. There was a 1-800 number on the back of the box. I decided to call it, but this quickly went nowhere as I realized I couldn't hear anyone on the other line. I just started screaming into the phone, demanding to know why they sold me such a loud tape. I was already deaf, so I, I decided to continue watching. Evidently, the parents of the home were adopting children after murdering their parents and throwing the dead bodies in the furnace to eat the property. Lincoln Loud was named as such because he was not unlike Abraham Lincoln on the United States Penny. Petty, insignificant, worthless. They were screaming because they went into the basement and found the bodies of their dead parents. Partially burned corpses with visible skulls locked in contorted faces of horror. The adopting parents would collect welfare checks to further invite more families over, murder them, and steal their babies. At least 30 mutilated corpses were there, with many visibly clutching wounds where they had been stabbed, maimed, murdered with a stapler. <clears throat> this, this was disturbing. Why, why would Nickelodeon allow such a thing? Granted, I would have enjoyed this spooky episode a bit more if it hadn't permanently destroyed my hearing. Oh, I was deeply uncomfortable now. Disturbed. Deaf. Depressed down with the sickness. The Loud House was a metaphor for the human head, and the crowds of competing children represented various ideas cloying for one's attention. But maybe they all start screaming at once and you go deaf? Deaf culture in the United States tends to be collectivist rather than individualist. I listened carefully and turned out the noise and could hear one voice among the thousands, millions screaming in my head. Get in a car. Beat a homeless with your shoe. Start a family. Rekindle your relationship with your three dogs. The remainder of the tape was three minutes of blackness with no sound, and even though I was deaf, I still knew there was no sound. A few weeks later, I decided to buy a hearing aid online. This was one of the fancier ones with an FM radio, antenna, and remote control. I plugged it in, inserted the batteries, and placed the cochlear implant deep in my ear canal. I turned on the FM radio, heard them screaming in Spanish again. Oh, the screaming was faster and louder than ever before, and now it was permanently being transmitted into my brain. One of them was screaming in Espanol about an omelette. Huevos de ranchero, salsa, refried beans, starting to firm, beat the homeless man with your shoe, God help me. I tried to rip it out of my ear, but it was attached there with needles. I, I, I should have used a different eBay buyer. I should have known selling both that VHS tape and an FM cochlear implant with a picture of the Loud House logo was suspicious. What was more disturbing was that the same seller was selling a few additional VHS tapes. The first was titled The Bright House. The second was titled The Smelly House. The third was titled The Numb House. And the fourth was titled The I'm Going to Fucking Kill You House. But perhaps more disturbing than that was the fact that the seller, the name tied to the account, 
was me.